Gone are the dog days of summer, and that means it's time to start working on those fall colors and working them into your wardrobe as well as your cookies. But if you're thinking of orange pumpkins and black witch hats, it's time to up your game. We're being joined by our resident cookie expert and owner of Figtails Bakery, Stacy Suitcamp. She's here to show us that fall colors means more than a warm tone. All Pink! Right. I know, pink for fall. It's a Barbie year, so That's pink true. is going to be in there. I love it. So um, really, any colors can be fall colors, mm -hmm. but what will really help you sell this is deep colors, so deep jewel tones. Okay. So if you're going to make an apple that's teal, Make it teal. Make it teal. All like, right. don't be afraid to use that icing gel. Right. There is a caveat. Okay. If you use too much icing gel, the icing is not going to dry. So, oh. if you need the cookies to dry to package, you need to make sure that you kind of hold back. Okay. Icing develops over time. So, if you want a specific teal to match Something party decorations or whatnot, you want to make sure that you make it the day before because then you can color adjust the day mm. that you need it. Got okay. It. So, okay. so like it's going to change color and then yep. you're ready. It'll okay. actually change mm -hmm. colors when you, it dries and um, as it ages. So I didn't know so, that. Mm -hmm. I know, right? I always try to come up with stuff that you will learn. <laughs> and, you, you show, and it's getting harder and harder because I taught you a lot. Yeah, you taught me a lot. You taught me a lot. Okay. So um, here's the other thing that you can do. I, you know that I always like to repurpose cutters. Mm -hmm. So um, Mitchell actually looked and said, is this a pumpkin? And I said, it was. It was a pumpkin. And I squeezed it into an apple. So that's what nice. these shapes are. So you don't have to think like necessarily pumpkins and sweaters and whatnot you can, for fall. Right. So if you've got a sweater cookie cutter, I'm going to teach you how to turn that into a hoodie. A hoodie. I oh, love I love that. that. You okay. to have so, a hoodie I think the first cutter. segment we ever did together was like naughty it sweaters. Was ugly, yeah, it was <laughs> ugly sweaters. And the thing that was said about it was this is nice because it's supposed to look ugly. It's supposed to look ugly. That's so true. It's like you don't have to be good at it. No, no, no. It's coming, it's off, coming okay. full circle. This looks like we have to be like color within the lines like we did at school. Is it like so that? It is like that a little okay. bit. Mm -hmm. And um, what you want to do when you separate something out like this is that you want to decorate it in sections because that's what's going to give it dimension. So you don't want to do the sections right next to each other. So I already did your neckline where I put down icing and made sure that it was nice and flat. Okay. So you'll want to go in with your icing and um, just do that first layer of the cowl neck. Do I want to do the, the first layer of the cowl neck or do I want to do the lower one? Yeah? I ready? So um, if you do the first layer, because then um, I can do the, yep, it. then okay. you can do the big part of the sweater. Yep. This one. Is there yep. any tip, trip, tricks you want to give us for filling in between the lines? So here's the thing: when you're filling in a little area like this, sometimes you will get um, tiny little holes Oopsies. that fall in, um, and the way to fix that is to either let it dry, and then you can squeeze a little bit of icing in and take a damp tooth or a damp toothbrush, a damp paintbrush, <laughs> and wipe it right over the top. Oh. Or um, sometimes you'll see cookie decorators on their videos; they'll poke holes in icing, okay, or like oh, no, the I holes that. that are poked, poked into the cookie, Don't worry and that just makes sure that um, there's some area for that to dry. It's okay. a surface tension issue. A surface okay. tension issue. Yeah. So. Okay. The smaller the area, the harder it is to dry. And so then I'm just going to go crater. to the next spot, right? So is that yep. what happens next? We go to the next one? Yep, but not adjacent. One. Nothing adjacent. So, oh, just so skip, skip the one. So skip the one that's closest to the neck, and then, yep, and you then can fill in the body. And then this got yep. it. Okay. Uh, okay, so I like this. So, it's easier with, um, with, a, with a big space. And uh, you've got nice, loose flood icing. Do you go around then, the whole thing once first? Yep, I do the edge first. Okay. And you'll see that I'm kind of wiggling Oops. the bag back and forth. Okay. Um, and Why what are that you doing does that? is oh, it does um, help. it's going to smooth that icing out. It's like a toothpick. It's the equivalent of shaking that cookie when we've got it all at the end. When do you're you doing a large it? space like this, <laughs> um, sometimes the areas will start to crust before you've got it all filled in. Is it. Um, so that's the other trick, is that once it gets filled in, you can take it and just jiggle it a little bit, uh, and then it'll smooth all the way out. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna teach you about, too, how to hold your bag. So yeah, if, you, doing, if it, you hold your bag in your hand like this, Okay. are you lefty? I'm right-handed. Then why are you holding the bag in your left hand? I don't know. So in your right hand, <laughs> yeah. So right hand, I'm just that. trying to make this harder. <laughs> so in your right hand. My right hand, this. okay. Yep. And then um, you're gonna wanna, I twist the bag just a little bit okay. to give it some tension. Okay. Yep. And then you can squeeze it like that. Yep. Okay. Were you decorating that cookie with your left hand? What was I thinking? He was kind of two-handed, like milk yeah, and cow, maybe. 
<laughs> it's like, no, you just want to prove to us, like, listen, you guys think that you're good? I did this entirely with the wrong hand. Multi-talented. I didn't know. Okay, so you used the, the hand that's your dominant hand. Yes. Is that yep, totally. <laughs> so what happens if you didn't quite hit the edge? Go back. So you can go, yep, you can go back. Go back. And <laughs> I would go back in on the wet side and try and pull that a little bit to that edge. That little line is just a dam to kind of help keep right. the icing from falling over the edge of the cookie. So right. how long right. am I going to need to wait before I So go in? here's the trick. If you wanted to fill in, like you could fill in your arms, but the trick is to go really light against the seam and then really heavy on the outside edge so that when the icing dries, it doesn't flow over that seam. Okay. So, Yours is looking better than mine, actually. Well, I was holding it with my right hand. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> <laughs> the other thing with colors, too, is that I, even though I've been doing this as a pro for a number of years, mm -hmm. and I've been doing it as a hobby, I still pull out the color wheel. So if this this pink is not like a bright bubblegum Barbie pink because it's got a little touch of gold color in it, which takes it to like a rose gold. Okay, so, you so that's think how you're of making like, this fall. Yep, so you want to think of hue and um, like the... the um, contrast of the cookies. So sometimes I'll add a little touch of black icing. I was just gonna say that. Sometimes, could, yep. And like so, a muted. Yep, a oh, okay. very muted color too. So with these jewel tones, I didn't add any white like I normally do on the cookie colors because I wanted to make sure that it was as bright as possible. Oh, okay. And then the other trick too is that um, you have to remember on lighter colors, and it doesn't happen so much with these fall jewel tone colors, but with the lighter colors, the cookie's yellow. So you've got a yellow base that you're doing it under. That looks so good. Wow, it is good. I, I blended right over that line, so <laughs> mine's just so horrible. Here's, so here's the trick to do. So it, I'll, I'll show you how to fix that. Oh, is there, there, is there a way to fix that? Because yep. I blended so right over it. If you blend it over your line, uh -huh. you literally could go back after it's done uh, and just draw a line like that. And do you see how oh, high? Look she, at uh, Look at me. I'm yeah, that teach height it. thing yeah. is something I didn't even think about. That's oh my how gosh. she gets such straight lines. You yes. got And you got to be bold. You gotta yes. be bold and you gotta go. So. You gotta be bold and you gotta go. You straight bold lines. Channel yep. your inner Stacy. Thank you so much. Yes, You're so welcome. Thank you. thank you. I'm ready.